Hi, I'm Mr. B. In this video, I will explain how to calculate the root mean square or RMS speed of a gas. You know, gas particles are in a state of constant random motion. At any temperature, particles move at different speeds, constantly colliding and changing directions. Therefore, we use velocity to describe the movement of these particles. Remember, velocity is a vector quantity, which takes into account both speed and direction. Particles moving in opposite directions have velocities of opposite signs. Since gas particles have random motion, there should be equal amounts of particles moving in all possible directions. Therefore, calculating average velocity will lead to a value of zero. This problem may be avoided by taking the root of the square of the average velocities. The result will be average speed. This also takes away the directional component. Therefore, a final value of zero is not possible. When using any equation, it is always convenient to understand just a little about how that equation was derived. So let's begin the lesson by actually deriving the RMS speed equation. According to the kinetic molecular theory, the total kinetic energy of one mole of any gas is equal to 3 halves RT, where R represents the universal gas constant, 8.314 J per K, and T represents the absolute or Kelvin temperature. Since the energy of a moving particle is equal to one half its mass times the square of its average speed, then for one molecule of a gas we may write one half mass times the square of the average speed of the particle is equal to three halves RT. For one mole of a gas, we may multiply the left side of the equation by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole. And of course, the lowercase m in the equation represents the mass of a single molecule. Since Avogadro's number times the mass of a single molecule of the gas is equal to its molar mass, then the equation may be rewritten as follows, where molar mass times one-half the square of the average speed is equal to three-halves RT. To solve for the square of the average speed, simply divide through by the left side of the equation, generating the following relationship, where 3 halves RT divided by 2 over 1 times the molar mass is equal to 3 RT divided by molar mass. Now solving for the average speed, simply take the square root of both sides. Average speed is equal to the square root of 3 RT divided by molar mass. Now let's apply the root mean square speed equation in a simple practice problem. Calculate the root mean square speed of oxygen gas, O2, at 30 degrees Celsius using the universal gas constant. Inserting the information into the equation generates the following, where RMS speed is equal to the square root of 3 times 8.314 J per K times 303 K divided by 0 0.032 kilograms. Solving the numerator first in the radical generates the following, where root mean square speed is equal to the square root of 7,557.43 J divided by 0 0.032 kilograms. The units for joules are kg 
times meters squared divided by seconds squared. This allows us to cancel the kilograms in the radical. And solving for root mean square speed, we generate the following, where root mean square speed is equal to 486 meters per second. This calculation is based on one mole of molecules. There are actually two versions of the root mean square speed equation. As you've just witnessed, in one version, the universal gas constant is incorporated into the calculation. In the second case, we incorporate Boltzmann's constant K, which has a value of 1.381 times 10 to the negative 23 J per K. Another difference between the two versions of the calculation is that in the first case, where we incorporate the universal gas constant, we're calculating the RMS speed of one mole of a gas. In the case where Boltzmann's constant is incorporated, we're actually calculating the RMS speed of one molecule of a gas. Remember, to calculate the mass of one molecule of a gas, simply divide the molar mass by Avogadro's number. And of course, Boltzmann's constant was calculated by dividing 8.314 J per K, which is actually the universal gas constant, by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole. Let's use the second version of the equation to recalculate the root mean square speed of oxygen gas at 30 degrees Celsius. Inserting the information into the equation generates the following, where RMS speed is equal to the square root of 3 times Boltzmann's constant times the absolute or Kelvin temperature divided by the mass of one molecule of oxygen gas. Simplifying the calculation generates the following, where RMS speed is equal to the square root of 1.255 times 10 to the minus 20 joules divided by 5.313 times 10 to the minus 26 kg per molecule. And solving for root mean square speed, we generate the following, where root mean square speed is equal to 486 meters per second. This concludes my explanation of how to calculate the root mean square speed of a gas. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.